I am live out here in Orr City, certainly a city that has already seen its fair share of severe weather this year. Unfortunately, we are looking at another pretty decent chance at some strong to severe thunderstorms as early as the next few hours and especially overnight tonight. So I'm going to send it back into the studio uh, where Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell has an update. Yeah, hey Carson, good afternoon to you. It's going to be a pretty bumpy late evening and into the overnight for us. We've got some heavy rain and thunderstorms that are anticipated. Let's first start with the big picture on things. The warm front has lifted back northward. That's why we're seeing more humid air in place. Yesterday still felt cool, even though our dew points were down just a tad into the lower 60s. Still comfortable yesterday compared to what we're seeing today. In our cold front out in portions of West Texas at this time. Two storm complexes, one back near the Metroplex closer to the Red River, another storm complex across portions of Southeast Texas. This will be the one we need to watch first, but later tonight, storms will move in from the west and then head their way to the east. Closer look at some of the infrared satellite imagery. We can see this to help us understand if there are any significant thunderstorms that are ongoing. And you can notice those in the bright red over Southeast Texas right now. And those are the ones that are heading. In our direction, the storms that are heading toward the Red River and into Oklahoma, those are going to continue to move off to the north and to the northeast. So this will be the batch that we're watched for. Come back to that here in just a moment. A look outside from Longview this morning. We're looking at a cloudy sky. You had some light drizzle. Some of us did earlier this morning. Right now, a temperature of 73 degrees and a wind out of the southeast at about nine. Everybody locked in with the clouds. There have been some attempts at some cloud breaks, but nothing too significant for us. Temperatures anywhere from the low 70s up in our northern counties all the way into the mid 70s down in deep east Texas. But notice here where we're in the mid 70s. This is where the greatest moisture is dew points into the low 70s. That's why we're probably also going to see some of our heavier rain initially pick up across our southeast counties first here in the next couple of hours. Live by parade for us here in East Texas. We're just fine for us here at this time. There are the storms though that we're watching over portions of the Houston area. Those are going to be the ones that are going to come in our direction and give us a better chance for rainfall storms that are back inside of the Metroplex heading up near Interstate 35 will again continue to push off to the north and to the northeast. Primary overall concern severe or non severe is heavy rain. One to three inches, probably maybe two to three inches more common across a good portion of our area from the storms that move in, especially later tonight. Now, severe potential damaging wind gusts in the medium category. Thought about nudging this a little bit higher, but I think medium is probably going to be sufficient for this. Tornadoes, I'm going to nudge up to the low to medium category. There's just enough spin in the atmosphere for us to see maybe an isolated tornado or two. A look at future cast for how things are going to play out. First of all, that storm complex in southeast Texas. That's the first thing that we're going to see into the afternoon. So I expect some of these storms to pick up. They're mostly going to be general thunderstorms, but I can't rule out a severe storm that would be capable of some wind gusts and hail. That's what we've seen ongoing across the Houston Metro heading over to Beaumont and Port Arthur. That does increase in coverage. So just after the one o'clock hour, we start to see storms become a bit more prominent in the area that will begin to taper off and then our focus turns to the west. Those storms really ramping up out near San Angelo, the Concho Valley a little bit later this evening, nine o'clock. They are inching closer to our area and we'll see those storms really increase overnight tonight with pockets of some very heavy rainfall continuing into early on Wednesday morning. Tomorrow morning promising to be wet, so give yourself extra time to get to your morning commute. The heaviest pulls away just after daybreak, we'll still have some lingering showers during the day. All this will do now is just add up on some of those rainfall totals that we will see. How much rain are we talking about? Well, as I mentioned, at least one to three inches, but several areas may pick up two to three inches of rainfall coming our way. So we definitely are looking forward to some much needed precipitation. Our severe weather alert for today. It does continue into tomorrow morning. Those storm chances really likely late this evening and tonight, but we will have some around for this afternoon. It lets up late Wednesday, decreasing clouds on Thursday and our temperatures heat up heading toward the holiday weekend. Corinne, we're getting back close to 90, but plans outdoors. Yeah, keep them going for the holiday. Weather should be just fine just on the 
the hot side. Similar forecast DP Texas, but your storm chances increasing first here in the next couple of hours.